the Loch Ness Monster, I think. What an amazing creature that must have been. I think it was a really big fish. And then people saw it. They're like, oh my god, this huge fish. And then told stories about it for years and generations. And then it got to be this huge, what is it? This huge fish in the woods. Just like Bigfoot. It's probably some huge gorilla. Something. that just wasn't common in that area of the world. And people told stories about it. And then, you know, of course, the creature itself died. So they don't see it anymore. But... I think it, you know, probably lived for a while, 100 years or so. Anyway, I think uh, it's really interesting to take these historical mythology, pseudo, you know, mythology, his, historo mythology, mytho history, uh, like religion, like text, ancient texts and things. Because the people involved were real. Adam and Eve were real people. They were the first people, according to the Christian Bible. According to the Old Testament. They were the first people. But what they were was a group of apes, at this point, that were advanced, that could communicate. But probably with grunts, some language, and, and they were getting smarter. And Eve was out in the woods or wherever they were, apparently in Eden, this, this lush place with probably a river and trees and all these different things. And she found mushrooms and she ate these mushrooms and started tripping and was like freaking out. And, oh, well, Adam and Eve were, they were like, you know, evolved. They were beautiful. They were incredibly attractive. Max was saying that Eve had like probably or could have had like long hair. Like really they were just interesting people and they were intelligent. And I believe that they spent a lot of and for whatever reason they were in the same place and they because they've probably been evolved every once in a while but these two were together and they found each other and were communicating and just kept communicating, communicating, communicating with each other. And I think at some point in this relationship between these two creatures, Eve came upon mushrooms and ate them and started tripping out and was freaking out and thinking like, oh my God, oh my God, Adam, I got to tell Adam, I got to tell Adam, I got to tell Adam, I got to give these mushrooms to Adam, I got I to gotta tell Adam. And this snake was there in the tundra, or not, <laughs> not the tundra, in the savannah. Sorry, magic card references. I, they're dual lands for magic cards. Um, in the savannah. And the, uh, the snake came slithering along, and, and she saw the snake, and the snake was probably just sitting there. And she started talking to the snake, or grunting, or thinking to the snake, I want to tell Adam. Should I tell Adam? What should I do? Should I tell Adam? Should I, should I give these to Adam? And the snake said... Yes, give them to Adam in her mind because she was tripping on the mushrooms and you hear things and you see things when you're tripping. And she, but it was her mind telling her, yes, do it. So she was like, ah, so she goes to Adam and she went to Adam and said, he, these mushrooms, ah, these, I'm, I'm freaking out. And Adam took, ate the mushrooms. It was like, oh my God, what is happening? Started examining the things around him much more closely. It was what you do while you're on mushrooms which is why they are the forbidden fruit, because it can drive you insane if you take too many. But if you, if you, when you take it, you, you start to quite, like see things more clearly. And it was like they were, in the Bible it said, in the Old Testament, uh, roughly, it said that, that they were packs of herds of animals. And this, for whatever reason, gave them... Like, they, they said, what, we could be animals? What was it? You told me it. Yesterday, you told me in the in what it was that uh, that they were herd animals, that they were packed. They were like just animals that were giving birth, but they decided to break the mold. Adam and Eve. Um, 
they they were there was something in the Bible about them that said that they were decided to like said to all the other animals that were just like going through the motions. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I should just flow with it. I'm sorry to drag you into it like that. No, I just wasn't really. You were in your own train of thought. Well, what happened is that they saw the monotony, the animal, the animalism at work. They saw just the repetition, the violence, the the aggression, and they considered themselves something different than the monkeys than the animals. They consider themselves human, perceivably, the first ones. And so it was told. And so they told the people around them. In their realities, it was just them, Adam and Eve. They, they communicated to each other. The one-on-one -on -one male and female communication, the monogamy, which is taught by Christianity, comes from this, this, these two evolved creatures that began to communicate and lead, lead these animals into civilization. And it may have happened at different places in the world it with, and other religions came from. But the Christianity focuses on these specific animals in this specific region. Maybe it's just they were the, they were the beginning. of humanity. Uh, they weren't the first things. There was a bunch of animals around them. They were animals. Their parents were monkeys. And they were just beautiful monkeys that changed their perception towards a more civilized approach. Less violence, more communication. And the shame that Eve must have felt for what she'd done, the guilt, because of what they were were experiencing before, they didn't they weren't afraid. It wasn't you didn't know you were afraid. Animals don't have to experience that. I won't say that because they do, but you humans have a heightened awareness of it, of fear. I think that we feel fear more than all the other animals. Maybe dolphins. But they weren't aware of it before. And this woman that began it all was... I just had a feeling that... I just had a thought that, about how she came from Adam's rib in the Bible. Which I think means that the men died and for, they would fight and die and fight and die. Adam's rib. Adam didn't know. They didn't know what was happening. They didn't know about reproduction. They didn't understand it. They were learning the semblance of conscious understanding, but they didn't understand. So that's why they said they came from the dirt because they believed they did, because they didn't realize that they had actually come from the water, traced back to ancestors and bacteria in the water. So they believed that it was a given creation, maybe because she was smaller. And the story of Adam and Eve was told, these two people, these two that brought these mushrooms to the rest, I think, I think that I believe they would have told other animals about it. Maybe. Maybe they just had kids and then raised their kids amongst the animals. And the monkeys were like, stop, don't do it, don't do it. It'll drive you crazy. And that's why it was like looked down upon by God. Because everyone else was like, don't, bad, bad. They were like experimental monkeys. They evolved themselves into a higher form of being. 
and stories were told about them for thousands of years. And then it was written. Moses, too. These people that have done these things they've done, but that's another, that's another conversation. <laughs>